Hello guys, on this episode I'm going to show you the differences between Elementor, the free version, and Elementor Pro version. This one, the black and red, uh, has Elementor Pro, this one has the free version. So if you go to a page and you want to do some edits, let's take whatever, take this one, doesn't matter, we end up here. And uh, if, let's say, I want to edit this one, edit with Elementor, it's the same thing. I just went directly on the page to edit it. So uh, on the first side, it looks pretty much similar. So this one is the, the free version. And you have here on the left side, you have some basic elements, which are exactly the same here. Inner section, heading, image, and so on. Here, you see the pro elements which you can also see here, but you see that there is a little padlock icon. That means that they are locked and you need to buy uh, the Pro version. Uh, if you scroll a bit more, then you see some other general icons, which are also free. I don't know why they put them under the Pro version, but they're also free. You can use those things. And here are some uh, extra that are available only in the Pro version, while if I go here, Everything is open and unlocked. There is no padlock icon here on the side here. You see, you can, uh, the main difference is that here you can uh, create a navigation menu that you can use in all pages. And this is a function that it is locked here. You cannot have the navigation, it is locked. And uh, here there are some standard WordPress elements which are pretty much the same. So these are the differences between Elementor Pro um, and Elementor, the free version. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you can do pretty much anything with those free options, especially if you're a blogger, if you don't feel like purchasing it, you can uh, install it directly and you can test it and see if it's something that you want to invest in the future. Thank you for watching this short uh, video and I'll see you next time. Bye.